What is up all you worship peoples? Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And today we're going to be looking at a new release by the Belonging Company called Rise and Shine and learning how to play it on an acoustic guitar. At the end, we'll also be looking at this song um, in my rigorous grading system. So stick around to see how it does in that. But let's get into it. so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. All right, there are three things we're gonna be going over in this video today to help you learn this song on an acoustic guitar. The first thing is the key uh, and capo placement of the song. So, um, you know, the key that it was recorded in, the key that I'm doing it in, and how to use your capo to possibly play in some other keys. Um, the second thing we're going to be looking at is one strumming pattern that will get you through this entire song. And the third thing are the chords. I'm going to play through the various sections of this song, and as I do, I will have these handy little chord diagrams in the upper right hand corner um, every time I play a chord um, so that you can see exactly what I'm playing and my finger placement for those chords. Alright, so this song was recorded in the key of G. Um, and I'm going to be playing it in that same key for this tutorial, so that makes it kind of easy. Um, but that means that I'm going to be in the G position. Uh, you know, if you're in standard tuning and you play a G chord, that's what it looks like. Um, and that is called G position. So if you used a capo, you know, on the fretboard and you worked your way up, and you played in that same, you know, those same chords, that would be called the G position. Um, so I'm going to be in the G position. If you wanted to play in a lower key, um, you're probably going to have to change the position that you play in. Um, so say if you wanted to go down to F sharp, you would put your capo on fret number six, and then you'd play in the C position, and you'd be in the key of F sharp. Um, or you could go down another fret, fret number five, in the C position, that would, that would put you in the key of F, or the key of E on fret number four. Unfortunately, I'm not you know, teaching that position in this video. I'm only teaching the G position. Uh, but if you wanted to go up, um, you know, you could use the same chords that I'm going to teach you today in this video um, and play in a higher key. So you'd still play in the G position, but on fret number one with your capo, you would be in the key of G sharp or A flat. And fret number two, you'd be in the key of A. Fret number three, key of A sharp or B flat. And fret number four, you'd be in the key of B. All right, let's look at this one strumming pattern to rule them all. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna show you one strumming pattern, but the way that I use it is going to differ greatly. It's all in how you use the pattern. You can't just play at the same energy level throughout the entire song, or that's gonna get monotonous and boring. Um, you have to play, play it with different energies, different vibes and all that. But let's look at this strumming pattern. This is kind of the foundational pattern that I'll be using for this song. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's slow that down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. threw in a few extra you know strokes into the pattern on some parts to show you that I will be changing it up. Sometimes it will just be or sometimes I'll play but the, you know still the foundation of that pattern the first one I showed you is the underlying pattern for whatever I'm going to play in this song. All right, let's learn these chords. Um, it doesn't have much of an intro, this song. 
Uh, so I'm just going to include kind of the intro that they do have on the recording with the first verse. So this is intro and verse one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Arise, there's a new day upon us. So come out of the darkness, stand in the morning light. Take heart, there's a new wind that's blowing. Heaven's gates are wide open. It's time to lift your eyes Oh, it's time to lift your eyes Alright, this is chorus number one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Rise and shine for the light, the light is come. Jesus Christ, come behold the risen sun. Hold on to hope, shake off your fear, sing like you know, freedom is here. Rise and shine for the light, the light is come. Alright, this is tag number one right after chorus number one. Let's play through this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Then they go into verse number two after tag number one, um, and it's the same exact chords as verse number one, except they don't have a tag at the end of verse two. So at the end of verse one, uh, they said, um, it's time to lift your eyes. Oh, it's time to lift your eyes. Um, they don't do that tag at the end of verse two. Um, but, you know, minus that, that tag, same exact chords for verse two as in verse one. And then they go into the chorus for a second time. Same exact thing as what I taught you for chorus number one, chord wise. And then they go into that same tag, tag one, again after the second chorus. So just refer to tag one that I already taught you um, and same exact chords for that. All right, the bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, set your feet to dancing. Open your mouth and praise Him. We made it through the evening. This is the joy of the morning. Hope is alive and breathing. Life has a brand new All right, then they repeat that bridge, so same exact thing again, and then they go into tag number two. Um, it's just basically them singing, this is the joy of the morning, three times before they go back into the chorus. So let's see what they're playing there chord-wise for tag number two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. This is the joy of the morning. This is the joy of the morning. Oh, this is the joy of the morning. All right, after tag number two, they go back into the chorus again, um, which is almost the same exact chords as what I taught you for the first chorus. But for this chorus, which I think is now chorus number three, uh, they do, uh, the bass does kind of a cool little run. 
um, in the first line of the chorus. So if you wanted to pl uh, play that on an acoustic guitar, it would sound like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Rise and shine for the light. The light is gone. So it goes. Rise and shine for the light. So that's what they're doing there. From G, G over F sharp, C. Or to make it fast, because it's really, really fast movement, I just use, um, I just go to my index finger for that F sharp, so. So other than that, it's the same exact thing as what I taught you for chorus number one. And then after that third chorus, they go into tag one again, which I already taught you. Um, and they do tag one two times. So just use the same chords that I already taught you for tag one earlier. All right, then after those uh, two tag ones, uh, they go into like this really long instrumental. Um, so first, they hold the G or the one chord uh, for eight measures. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And then they start what the progression that I'm going to show you now. And, you know, the lead vocalist, he starts kind of ad-libbing over this progression. So let's play through this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. A lot like tag one. Just one minor difference. And then it starts again. And then they cycle that uh, progression uh, a few times, several times, before they go back into the bridge again. So, and you're kind of cycling that progression, and the lead singer is kind of ad living over that, just in case you wanted to play that part, so. All right, so like I said, after that long uh, instrumental, they go back into the bridge two times, then they do tag number two, then they go back into the chorus, and then they do tag one. And then that's the end of the song. I've taught you all that stuff already, so we don't need to go over it anymore. So those are all the chords for the entire song. All right, so now that we have learned this song, everything there is to know chord-wise, let's bring this song into my rigorous grading system. <laughs> this song could receive up to three check marks in my grading system, so let's see how it does. Check mark number one, could this song be played not only in a full band context, which sounds great, um, but could it also be played with just a few instruments or even one instrument? And I'm gonna say yes. Um, I feel like this song could be played on just an acoustic guitar or a piano or maybe an acoustic and a cajon and still carry the same energy and the same vibe. You might have to adjust a few things. Uh, you might have to bring the key down a little bit or you might have to cut out this section or that section, but I feel like a little bit modified, it could work with fewer instruments. So yes, it receives that first check mark. Check mark number two, would this song be easy to learn for you and your team? Could you pick this song up, you know, at a you know, Thursday night practice, go into Sunday and be ready to go? Um, I think you could. I'm gonna give it this check mark, yes. Um, you know, the, the chords aren't too complex. The melodies are very predictable. Uh, you know, the lyrical um, content is pretty easy to learn, I would say. Um, so yes, I feel like this would be a pretty quick learn for you and your team. There is a lot going on dynamically. There's a lot of builds and stops and all that. Uh, but as far as like the chords, the lyrical content, melodies, um, those core things, those are a pretty, pretty easy, pretty quick to learn, I would say. And check mark number three, is this song congregational? Totally, I would totally, you know, see this song fitting really well into a Sunday morning set list, plugging this song into your repertoire and having your church respond really well to it. Uh, you know, being that it's it's such a, just like a happy, joyful song. It's an encouraging song 
and you know, we definitely need those in our set list. So yes, it definitely is congregational and gets that check mark. All right, so Rise and Shine by The Belonging Company. You know, an incredible release from them. I really love this song and enjoyed learning it so I can teach it to you guys. Um, I hope this video helps you to evaluate this song and to even learn it if you are doing it or maybe you're already doing it. Um, if you are or you're planning to do it, comment down below. I wanna hear from you. God bless you guys wherever you are, wherever you're doing ministry, wherever you're leading worship. I hope the Lord blesses the work of your hands and I will see you in the next video.